Hi there, it's Jennifer Trask, and welcome to today's vlog on how to make peace with your bridge job, partner, or parent who supports you while you're building your business. Now, the reason that I wanted to do this topic is because I've actually met a lot of people, coaches in particular, who've had a lot of difficulty emotionally accepting this, and it's blocking them from allowing them to build their business. The reason that this happens is because they are making it mean something bad about them as if they're not successful enough or they should be farther along. And this meaning that they're making out of this particular situation is holding them back from allowing the abundance in that's going to help them grow their business. So I want to give you two reasons why having a bridge job or a parent or a partner who supports you while you're building your business, it's really awesome. First of all, it gives you more time. So oftentimes I know people will say, oh, the fastest way is, you know, burn the bridges and uh, have no other plan than this one. But the reality is that a lot of people it's, find that's very difficult. And it's difficult to maintain an abundant mindset when you're under a ticking time bomb. Uh, if you say quit your job before you're ready. What I want to say to you is if you do have a job or a partner who supports you, you can use that you can create that same sense of urgency as if you've quit your job or you know, your partner is only going to support you for X amount of months, you can create that sense of urgency in your mind and still have that same fire and gusto to get to your goal as fast as possible. That's a mindset decision. You don't need to physically go in and hand in your resignation to do that. So having your bridge job or your partner or a parent or someone else really is giving you that gift of time because you know what if if you've never built a business before there is a lot to learn there's going to be a lot of ups and downs and you need time so i want you to realize that your bridge job or the the person who's helping you supporting you financially is a gift because if, if you didn't have them you'd have to go out and get investors you would have to support yourself some way. If you look at startup companies, that's why a lot of startup companies go get investors because they have no money. And if they need to work in the business full time in order to build it, they can't work somewhere else. So they have to go get investors. Conversely, when it comes to building coaching businesses, for some reason, people don't think the same way when it comes to uh, their bridge job being their investor or their partner or parent being their investor. But that's the reality of what it is because it's very difficult to build a business if you don't have food to eat or a place to live um, and you're, you're constantly worried about bills. So I want you to remember to view your bridge job or partner who's supporting you or whatever as a gift they're your investors, right? And they're giving you that gift of time. Now, if you feel like things are taking longer then you, it's up to you to go create that sense of urgency within yourself. That's a mental thing. You don't need to actually quit to do that. And I don't really recommend it because it's very difficult to build an abundant mindset under conditions of scarcity. Can it be done? Sure. Doesn't mean that's what's right for you. Only you can answer that question. But why not make it a little bit easier on yourself? Keep that income coming and give yourself the gift of time and the ability to make more mistakes and the ability to not feel like you have to rush, rush, rush while keeping an important amount of urgency that's necessary for you to stay in action mode and move forward in your business. Now, the second thing that I think is really important when it comes to this is to understand that these sources of income are truly coming from you. 
So money doesn't come from a job or your business or a spouse or an investment. It actually comes from you. Those particular um, outlets are ways that money comes to you, but your true abundance comes from you because remember your whole life is a mirror of what's going on inside. So one thing to recognize is you should feel like, oh my God, I'm amazing. I have attracted this incredible job uh, to help me um, build my business or partner or something of that nature. So you have to recognize that, you know, if that job, I'm going to make something up, is, is giving you like $70,000 a year, well, now you've just taken care of all your needs. You probably can use some of that money to invest in your business. And that's you. You attracted that abundance into your life. I know oftentimes people feel, especially when it's a partner supporting them, that they feel like they're not contributing to the household. But that's just not true. That's not true. The reality is that partner is part of your investor and you attracted that into your life. That is part of your abundance because money comes from you. It comes through channels, the partner, the investments, the job, whatever. But ultimately it all comes from you because if you didn't feel that abundant, you wouldn't have those support systems in your life. And I think when you really understand that, you can make peace and not feel guilty about having that support system and realize, damn, I am awesome. Like, <laughs> that's me. That's what I did because that is true. It's you. It's a gift that you've been able to manifest for yourself. And when you recognize that, then you're able to realize, oh my God, like I am so abundant. I brought this in. I brought this in. I have this support system and it's part of your abundance which helps you feel more abundant, which allows more of it in. So to close, I want you to know that whatever you have, the support systems you have in your business right now, they are there because you attracted them there. And that's a good thing. It's an amazing thing that you've given yourself this gift of support while you're growing a business. Growing a business takes time, courage, perseverance, tenacity, you will have valleys and peaks and having support during that time makes all the difference to make the journey a lot more fun, a lot more easy and it keeps you sane. So that's it. Let me know in the comments if you've experienced this or if this helps you, if you've been feeling a little bit guilty, maybe you haven't been contributing to the household or you just want to get rid of your job and, and run your business full time. Uh, put it in the comments and let me know. As well, I want to invite you, um, if you to expand your mindset around abundance by getting, I have a video series, it's called Break Out of Lack and Jump Into Abundance. It's a five part video series and you'll be able to get it on the blog. If you're watching this anywhere else, make sure you go to the blog and the link will be below. And grab the video series because it's really important to begin to understand these principles of abundance so that you can recognize it in yourself and therefore allow more of it to flow into your experience. So thanks so much for being here. If you like this video, please share it. Go grab the free video series and we'll see you next time.